The great fire had just finished, and it had not yet started to snow. It was a time when all the animals were quiet, contemplative in the wake of recent devastation. Bear, tiger, fox, and wolf sat together, sharpening their teeth. Elk, caribou, and deer were nuzzling the ash on the ground. Stoat, marten, and squirrel were climbing up and down the freshly charred trees. Raven perched haughtily above. Crane, otter, and beaver sat in the river, having a good bath. Suddenly, between Crane's feet, Salmon popped his head up. Salmon could see Bear near the bank, and wanted to stir some trouble, as Bear had a habit of eating Salmon. Bear can't be strong, he's far too fat, shouted Salmon, and then ducked under the water and away. Who says I'm not strong, rumbled Bear. Just watch. And Bear roared and leaned up against a tree, and it splintered and fell over. See, I am the strongest, and therefore the best animal among us. You might be strong, but you cannot go fast, said Weasel, and he ran up and down the tree as fast as lightning. I am the fastest, so I am the best. You might be fast, but you cannot leap as I can, said Elk, bounding gracefully into the air. I am the best. You might be able to leap, said Beaver, but none of you can build like I can. Look at that magnificent dam there upstream. Clearly, I am the best. Aha, uh -huh, you might be able to build, said Raven, but I can fly. Can anyone else here fly? I can fly too, said Crane, but you can be the best at that if you like. Crane was very humble. The animals all fell to bickering, trying to determine who was best. However, each thought themselves best at something, so none could agree who was overall the best. Sam inspired this all from the river. You should ask someone who is impartial, he shouted, and darted away below the water again. Sam hoped they would ask him, whereupon he would pretend to think hard on it before making fun of them all. Good idea, said Fox. But who should we ask? Maybe we could ask Salmon, said Caribou. At least he hasn't claimed to be the best animal. No, said Bear. I don't want an opinion from my dinner. Why don't we make a new animal? asked Fox. Fox always had unorthodox ideas. All the animals nodded and started getting to work making the new animal. Each wanted the, the animal to be a bit like themselves. Caribou gave the new animal her strong legs so it could walk all the way across the mountains. Deer gave the new animal his eyes so it could see any danger in the distance. Elk fashioned a ribcage from her horns so the new animal could have big lungs to leap with. Squirrel gave the new animal his hands so it could carry things like nuts and berries. Stoat gave the new animal his ears so it could hear the wind, river and rain, while Wolf gave her snout to the new animal so it could sniff out and follow things. Bear gave the new animal his big strong arms, while Tiger gave the new animal her strong beating heart. Once the body of the new animal was finished, other things were given. Martin gave the new animal his sense of balance and Fox her sense of cunning. Otter gave the new animal the ability to swim, and Crane complemented this with the ability to find things in the water. Lastly, Beaver gave the new animal the ability to build. We have made a new animal, they cried, and the new animal opened its eyes and stood on two legs. What are you called? I am human, said the new animal. Tell us, human, they said, which of us is the best? Human looked at them and admired them greatly. You all have qualities that make you best at something. Yes, but which one of us is the best? they asked. But Human ignored their question. He pulled a branch from a tree and fashioned a bow from it. I'm going to hunt you, said Human. Then all the animals ran away because their dispute did not matter anymore.